Okay, so what you would do, you take this reuse pattern and repeat it. So there's uh, one such pattern. Let me just make the edge of that bold. It. Let's uh, put it over here. Here's another area in which we are using that pattern. One, two, three, four. And again, we see uh, it's exactly as you said. Uh, if I repeat that over here, you now it turns out one. One, two, three, four, and so on. Uh, let me actually just finish that by running over here. Okay, so here is a region, here's a region of space, roughly sort of diamond shaped, in which I've divided this into cells, and I've used the entire bandwidth of the system a total of four times, one, two, three, four. So that, that's the compelling feature of, of the cellular communication system. If I did not do this, so the, the counter example I discussed last time was what if we put a, 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 a single base station covering the city of Toronto Landed on top of the CN Tower. If we did that, covering the entire city of Toronto, we could only use this 100 megahertz once to cover the city. Using this method, if the city of Toronto, let's say, crudely speaking, is located in this area, then I have, uh, I have used that same 100 megahertz four times. So since there's only a fixed number of calls that I can serve within any given bandwidth, uh, dividing space like this allows me to allocate four times the number of calls that I would have just by using the entire bandwidth once. Um, another, so let me show let me show you a slightly larger one. I won't repeat it like this because, like I said, these tend to get hard to draw. Uh, so that's four. Another common one you'll see is seven. <laughs> so a reuse factor of seven. And that looks like this. Sort of sunflower shaped. I was going to say honeycomb cereal. Honeycomb cereal, yeah, there you go. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so there you go. Uh, that contains seven cells. Let's number them one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So what we see over here with four, there is a certain minimum spacing, guaranteed minimum spacing among cells that have the same frequency. So all these cells marked 1 are using the same bandwidth, 800 to 825 megahertz. All the cells marked 2 are using the same bandwidth, 825 to 850. As you expand the reuse factor, um, for one thing, each cell gets less bandwidth. So in this case, if I was using 100 megahertz, each of these cells would be getting roughly 14 megahertz. So for instance, 1 would be 800. Repeat. If I if I start repeating um, this pattern, let's say I start here, put one there. There's a guaranteed distance that's significantly greater than this one. So that's a design decision: how to trade off uh, the separation between cells, which which is uh, uh, um, as cells get closer together, you can expect more interference against the total bandwidth available per cell total ba available bandwidth per cell, as this distance increases, that total bandwidth will go down. So let's have a few examples. 